Hey, I'm Susan Berkeley with this week's Inside VoiceOver e-newsletter. And, you know, my friend, the great character, voice actor, and teacher, Pat Fraley, once said, you don't have to like what you do, but you do have to come to grips with why other people like you for what you do. So I want to talk about that this week because it really touches on something that I think a lot of us experience when you start to hear your voice. You know, it took me many years of getting paid for speaking before I realized my voice was probably okay. I started out in radio, and when you're in radio, you meet with your program director, your boss, once a week, and what they do, it's so painful. They actually play back segments of your show on the air for you and nitpick and pick it apart. And if you ever saw Howard Stern's movie Private Parts, there's a hysterical scene in there where he goes through an air check session, that's what they're called, with his program director trying to get him to say WNBC. <laughs> they go on and on and Howard just can't get it. It's very, very funny. You should go and, and rent that just to check that out. But, uh, you know, even though I knew that that segment with Howard was silly, I just, you know, secretly thought that one day somebody was going to call me up and say, Susan, it's all been a horrible, terrible mistake. And it took me many years of getting paid for professional speaking, for being a voice artist, before I realized that my voice was probably okay. In fact, the great actor Ed Asner once said to Pat Fraley, I'm 75 years old. This is as good as it's going to get. Right? So the point is, you don't have to come to grips with, well, you don't have to like what you do, but you do have to come to grips with why other people like you and love you for what you do. Don't criticize yourself in front of other people. Don't be down on yourself. Just smile and thank them. And try not to be so self-critical. You're undermining your success. I hope that's helpful. We're all in the same boat. And I'll be back next week with more Inside VoiceOver.